Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the humble internet. My name is Ryan, aka the Ryan Man, and we have returned not only from the abyss of not recording nothing for a little bit, but also to uh, the bizarre adventures of Major Minor. I know what some of you guys are thinking. Ryan, what's been going on with you? You haven't really been posting anything lately. Are you alright? Yes and no, but you don't need to know the details. Also, in terms of not recording anything, I'm having a lot of sound issues. Some games, like this game, are working fine. I can hear just fine. Other games, no noise. We're looking into the problem. I mean, I had, th I got this new game, Hellsign. Fun-ass game. Love it. Can only get sound to go through the monitor. It's built in speakers, not my headphones. Do you want to hear feedback? Because with my microphone right here, you're going to get an echo. One hell of an echo. No one wants that. So I hold off on a lot of things for now. At least until I, I, I can work out the problem. One game at a fucking time. And lo and behold, I don't know if it's some kind of sign or horrible omen. Major Minor is one of the games that are working. So, the last time when we were all here... Many of bad things were going to be going down soon. Many, 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 many of bad things were going to be going down soon. Yeesh. Ooh. A lot of people are going to die. A lot of people are going to die. But you know what? The shit's getting so crazy. I've spent so much fucking time in this universe now. That it, it, you, 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 you sit back and, and you're like, you know what? These fuckers never ask for it. We have to kill a certain number of people to help save another certain amount of people. We ain't going down without a fight. Did I go through this part already? I think I did. Yes. I know it's been a while, but I believe I got through some of the... Yep, yeah, I, I remember this. Keyless gonna pump in. Pump in. Where, where? Okay, I, I'm not recognizing some of this. So let's go! I do as instructed and sit beside Kila. I'm already sitting in my comfortable chair with my Yankees blanket draped over the back. I expected the atmosphere in the room to be happy, but for some reason, I feel a sense of dread. Why could we possibly be feeling a sense of dread? Couldn't possibly be because Clayce is dead, and we're stuck in a building full of Skynet weapons that could turn on us at any turn of the key. And we're, we're trapped in here. We're not allowed to leave. Never mind the other knowledge that we know. This alone is horrible, horrible crap. Sins also looks like he's at his wit's end. At the press conference, he seems so calm and carefree. You know what would help you, Singe? A haircut? and putting on a fucking shirt. But that must have been an act for the public. I have to wonder, is this how he truly feels? I wanted to start by thanking you both. Your dedication has been unmatched. The contest was a massive success. To that end, I have a present for you. I don't like surprises, Singe. I wanted to give it to you much earlier. Just give me a moment to get them, alright? Singe re reaches under his desk for a few moments. Are you- are you reaching for a gun? Are you re- are, are you- Are you reaching? No. Not good enough. Are you reaching? <laughs> Calm down, it's a daisy! fucking harmless. 
Though I'm sure some of you are now wondering, Ryan! How many weapons are you surrounded by? <laughs> you don't need to know that. Just, just know I'm prepared for any given situation. Shishishow! See that? Could have been a demon sneaking up behind me. But bam Proceed. He opens and closes drawers, looking for something. After a few moments, he smiles and let out a sigh. Ah. <sighs> Almost like he was afraid he lost them for a moment. I know you had to give away the cans. The ones that won you your spot, I mean. To be honest, I found that silly. So, I... Cinch? Are you telling me? That as a gift, you essentially got, you essentially made an exact model of an empty soda can. Yes, I know, it's an energy drink. My point still stands. It still stands. Something you could keep as a souvenir. They are exactly the same as you knew. Yes, I am a man of sentiment. Okay, you know what? I take it back. I respect that. The contest clearly meant a lot to you. So I thought this would be a nice gift. You know, I take it back. I respect that. Good on you. I apologize for pulling the knife, I apologize for pulling the gun, and I apologize for throwing my specialized pen to deal with whatever demon assassin you had sneaking up on me. My bad. I'm twitchy like that. He places two cans of Pop Star on his desk. Me and Kayla ex exchange glances with one another. Wow, Singe. This is really awesome. I was sad I had to give mine away. But now everything is A-okay. Kayla happily grabs his can and places it in his pocket. This sure was interesting. I didn't expect it. The can on the desk reminds me of so simpler times. It was an exact replica of the one that got me here. But now it seems a little different, doesn't it? After all that happened, was it really so prestigious? It seemed that it won us lots of pain and suffering. Oh, it won you a, it won you some stuff, all right. I hoped to myself that things would resolve happily. Still, I don't seem rude. So I don't seem rude. I accept the offering. I rested in my lap, noticing that it's full. I assume Singe wants it to stay that way. I had a guard over these cans with my life. I didn't want them to get stolen or leaked. Then there would be more than two winners. This is a personal present for myself, and I will respect that. I will put away my hidden... EMF meter that I was tucking away to find your other ghostly apparition assassins. Stop asking questions why I, I have surrounded myself with so many hunting and paranormal shit. Let it go. Let it go. Let, 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 this is me petting, patting your head. Let it go. Anywhere. 
this is why episodes go on for an hour. P please treat them with love and care. With that said, we have to move on. A lot has happened since we arrived here. By the way, I was wrong. I take it back about uh, him giving me a replica of an empty soda can. That's my B. And especially since you two arrived. I am sorry that it has come to this, but... I no longer feel safe keeping you here. I have arranged for transportation. Tomorrow, you will both be taken home. I'm afraid the contest is cancelled. Bound to happen. Ellipses. Does this mean I don't get to meet Daz? Ellipses. What the fuck is wrong with me? Trust me, it's not what I want here. And I truly wish I had better news. But we have to move on from this. You two are exempt from my previous rule of having to stay inside the building. You're both free, but that's not all. You'll be receiving compensation, of course. We had a lot of money aside for you. <laughs> How much are we talking? Instead, we'll just be giving it to you. You'll get a check before you leave. <laughs> I take back like ninety eight percent of the things I've ever said about the furry community. If you just fucking cut me a goddamn check, I will embrace. You fuckers, come break, drop, the thug life's killing you. Drop the tea and bring it in, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would feel instantly better about being sent home if you give me that. I hope these terms are acceptable. They're so acceptable, I could barely, I could possibly nearly stand to shake your hand. I won't, but you know what I mean. Oh, Nani? Your flight home will be tomorrow. I hope that we can be mature here. <laughs> Buddy, for that money, I will be the most mature fucker in the room. Will you agree to these terms? I will. I nod in acceptance. Can't exactly say no, he already bought the plane ticket. That would be rude. But I knew I was still needed in Terra. So I have to play the rest of this by ear. The money isn't my Oh, I was gonna say, but I had to finish that sentence. This money isn't much when worlds are at stake. Well that said. I have one last gift. Singe reaches into his pocket and pulls out two cards. Interesting. They appear to be credit cards. There's one for each of you. Is this a $25 gift card for Baskin Robbins? Because that'd be shit. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. In the words of, uh, as, uh, as an ancient wise rapper, HOLD UP! They have a few thousand dollars on them. It will help you until you cash a check. My man. My dragon. My dragon. This is my own personal money, too! Another gift directly for me! There are a lot of amenities on site! And just you enjoy your day to day! Shit! 
So, what we have here is a very interesting scenario. We're stuck inside of a building. Well, we're not stuck anymore, apparently. We're inside of a building full of deadly weapons that will turn this entire facility into a battle royale scene within the next, I'm going to guess, chapter or two. We have... We've been giving... I've been given a credit card with a few thousand dollars on it. And inside said building is a bunch of very expensive and fancy things and people. Completely filled to brim. Ne nearly bursting. Bursting. With anthropomorphic creatures running around from top to bottom everywhere. Every nook and cranny. A lot of blood and fur and feather about to fly. Shit. Yeah. And at the end of the whole thing, if I survive, I get a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, 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 hundred thousand dollar check. Oh my god, if that is not a game show, I will be on it. Right. You are going to be thrown into a building full of anthropomorphic uh, creatures. Some of, some of which may kind of, kind of dig you in that way. Also, within a couple of hours, everyone's going to be trying to kill each other. But if you live... You get a hundred thousand dollars? What are you gonna do? Sign me the fuck up for that. Sign me the fuck up. Sign me the fuck up. Your flight will leave by noon. Meet me in the lobby at seven o'clock. Okay. Killer grabs one of the cars and puts it in his pocket. I follow suit and do the same. This is eerie. It's almost like this wasn't happening. It was surreal. Dude. You know that old saying? Never look the gift dragon in, 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 the, in the mouth. The end of an era, it feels like. What era? We barely got here. <laughs> A lot has happened. Oh my god, I was reminded all the events in this entire game take place in the course of only, like, 24 hours. Oh god. Everything we both wanted, taken away from us. But I can't give up. There's still lots to solve. Just then, since his phone rings. He puts a finger up, ordering us to wait a moment. Yes, Singe speaking. Music's dying down. That means something bad's gonna happen, yeah. I see. Are you certain? I understand. Please call for help. Singe hangs up this phone. He slumps down in his chair with a huge sigh. What happened? Who was that? I'm afraid I have some bad news. It's never all rainbow and sunshines when someone gives you a check for $100,000. And a credit card with another couple of thousand of the dude's money to use in a building full of many exquisite things to spend on. A <laughs> Max! Corpse was found on the premises. The backstage area, to be precise. Are you serious? Singe places both hands over his face. He continues to speak, but it's muffled. It's unclear what emotion is worn underneath.
It was Rocker. Our guitarist. Again, at a much earlier time. So, I guess that's all I need to say. The list, these people, and Ryan. Why? Why am I always dragged into, like, all these conflicts? Not to mention the power I've given you. Any questions before I send you back, Max? Remember, this may be your only chance. I don't want you leaving with any regrets. What? That's not bad. Right now, somewhere out in the universe, this universe, Clayce is probably sitting back, reading a fucking book. I need something to give emphasis on, on it. Hold on. Yep, yeah, here we go. This, this will do. He's sitting back, reading a book. Enjoying a drink, and he just gets the he just he just he just, he just gets that that he just gets that feeling. He's like, hmm. oh, yes, yes, quite. Mm. It's very very interesting and articulate. Re Someone just got to that part where Acheron is also in the contest. <laughs> Wait, what, what's that? Oh, then it was Ryan. Well, in that case, allow me to laugh even fucking harder. None. It was all very clear. It might be hard to find a way in. The tour already has a guard, you know. It shouldn't be an issue. And after that, your opposition. Their goal is to kill. Yours is to protect. 
You're doing a shitty job. Again, it shouldn't be an issue. I've never failed any of my clients. <laughs> Today's the day! I have no need to treat this differently. Perfect track. See, even Clay's has a sense of humor with that shit. Well, there is some leeway here. You just need to leave one person alive. For your competition, it's all or nothing. It will be interesting to see who wins. Life and death fighting each other. The spot is good as mine. I have no intention of ruining my record. I've never let a client down before. Very well. I have one final request, however. Regarding the one called Ryan... What is it? I'll be making up a big story. Something about parallel worlds. They'll think they have a power. No, they don't. If they tell you this, humor them. They mustn't know the truth of things. They are the key to my other venture. Very well. With that being said, are you ready for the games to begin? The eternal struggle of life and death. But this time, we'll have a victor. Yes, I am. Good. And one final thing. When you meet your opposition, I think you'll come to understand. There's no motivation like sibling rivalry. Fuck me in the ear. Was Neil's at an altar? Surrounded by silence. In my time of need, I fear I am alone. But who does a man such as me pray to when I already bear the burden of the world? And when its fate is now upon us, he grips the scepter in his hands, trembling softly. A monument to the dead is my only hope. Perhaps that is proof enough of my failure. But I know that we can find salvation, for nothing is below such a right. Not as long as they have the power, or if they have the strength to use it. <laughs> the fate of the universe is now a gamble, and here I am, filled with doubt, when once I was so sure. However, now it is too late. They are coming with a thousand furies. More like they are coming with a thousand furries. And they will s seek only our destruction. Taking a deep breath, he stands. But as they say about desperate times, he aims the sharp side of the scepter towards his body. He dropped, dropped, he did drop. No, dude, you're supposed to use that on something else. He drives it through his chest. 
With a frightened scream, he loses his balance! No! Grabbing onto a pew for balance, he watches the floor become stained with his blood! He cries! For Terra and the Immortal King. Uh. Is is this life anymore? Is this uh, what? I'm sorry. Did my stand? Activate all of a sudden and cause the furry king to kill himself. I can hear Don laughing now. Oh god. The, the, uh... Mother! Two seconds. Yeah, that's going in my Discord as well. Oh, God. We sit in silence for far too long. Soon rests his face in his hands in utter defeat. Kale and I exchange glances, unsure of what to do. Was Rocker truly dead? We should. Shock is probably in shock right now. We sh I, I think someone should go and make sure he's okay. And align perfectly with those mysterious texts. Wait. I have to use my brain. Oh god, I have to use big brain time. The message said a friend of mine would die today. I barely knew Rocker, but I understand I can easily make friends, but holy fuck. That's quick. I can't say that I consider Rocker a friend. Dude, we're all in this together at this point. Everyone in this building may or may not be my friend. I don't know. We have... We've had next to no contact since I've arrived. So wait, Max is definitely out to kill everyone. Acheron is there to protect. That seems to be part of his rules that he needs to follow. So if anything, he he knows that I'm being used as some kind of weird pawn, but I'm not sure what that is yet. I never really truly suspected that I had quote-unquote powers, because I wasn't really doing anything. But I, I have some kind of grand purpose still. Because if anything... Max has to lay off me, and Akron has to put on an extra, mm, pardon it, extra effort to also protect me. Which means there's got to be other players in this game as well. Some kind of wild card, but I, I should then still consider Akron one to trust.
The only people I've had real contact with, Keela and Rook, but they're safe and sound. As I make eye contact with uh, Keela, I shrug. Perhaps it would be best for us to leave Singe alone, and perhaps leave this place altogether, but not before I spend something with those credit cards. You know, we are owed a lovely, wonderful experience at a certain maid cafe. I'm gonna throw that idea out there. We shouldn't have to wait until morning. We, sh we should dipski the lipski. Not with danger like this lurking about. Especially not since we have those credit cards. Singe? Are you okay? Kayla, pull up! Pull up! No! I... I am conflicted. Rocker was a prodigy. <laughs> Not anymore. This loss is profound. Not just for me and my endeavors, but for the music industry as a whole. He takes out his phone and starts texting. I must confer her with, with Acheron. But I think we all know what this means. Huh? The killer is among us. Uh oh. This calls for a change of plans. A change? I need to work with Acheron. Together we can catch this killer. While on the other hand, your flight has been bumped up. I'll make sure you're home later tonight. I'm sure you understand. You know what, Sims? You're a cool kind of guy. You are. Legit. 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 Place was not an isolated incident. The worst has come to pass. We are under attack. And I cannot risk you two as casualties. I... Yeah, I understand. Talk about worst case scenario. I wonder if this tour will even happen. Singe, I think it's time we cut all losses. So much has gone to waste. But for what purpose? Why would someone want to do this? If only you knew. Unless you know. Uh, that's a good question, actually. And I did have a better grasp on things than he did. If someone was misusing their powers from the Ark, why would that man get? Why would that man give it to them in the first place? Oh, they're not misusing it. I assume that he chose his spe specimens carefully. Oh, he did. At least that's the impression he gave me. He's also kind of a lying dick. But I don't want to say a dick for sure, because I don't know what his game is at the end. And the furry king is dead! I may have had a hand in killing him, kind of, with my stand. I can't control the sound of silence when he goes into Act 2. When he's in Act 1, I, I can kind of like, hey, don't touch that. Don't touch him. Leave him be. When he goes Act 2, I have literally no fucking control. It's a very unstable and dangerous stand. I was not even the one who gave it to me. It's like, fuck you, Don. Fuck you, Aaron. Fuck you, Mark. I didn't think he chose someone so reckless. In fact, I thought I was the only one chosen. And do I really want to leave? I feel like I have a part to play in this mystery. This is not Scooby-Doo! We don't have a Great Dane Anthro walking around. For now, it seems like this ends tonight. And that's all the time I have before I'm sent home. That's a tall order. Catch a murderer and save Terra all in one night? Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm a bit, uh, I bit off more than I can chew. So what do we do in the meantime? I would suggest sticking together. Or at least be around those you trust. Shock and Rocker rarely parted ways. The killer must have been watching. They've waited until Rocker was alone. Don't give them that chance. I'm afraid this is all the advice I have. Wait a minute! 
You're gonna make us stay here when there's a killer out and about? That's crazy! I thought maybe you'd make us wait at the airport or something, Singe. But keeping us in harm's way? That's a very pessimistic way of looking at things, Kila. You should rethink this. This is basically a hostage situation. We might as well have guns to our heads. And what's the one thing you must never do when someone has a gun pointed at you? Uh, insult their mother! Make sudden movements. Exactly. A rash action like that might provoke the assailant to taking rash actions of their own. We must remain here. I think it's best if we let them assume their plan is coming to fruition. That way we can catch them off guard later on. I will discuss the best course of action with Acheron. If I'm not mistaken, this is far from his first brush with a killer. But as it stands, I think the best course of action is to not give off the impression that we fear the killer. That we're running. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Truth be told, I don't know either. But Acheron will. If the plan changes, I'll let you know. Cool! I got Singe's contact information for the cell phone that I have access to all the time. Alright. Singe leans back in his chair with a sigh. At first, I thought I was responsible for Clay's death. And maybe allowing him to leave this place to put him in danger. But now I know we're, we've been targeted. Honestly, I think Clay would have been attacked no matter where he was. I don't know if that's scary or if it's reassuring, but now the burden of responsibility is one easily discarded. I feel as if my mind has become more clear. I will use this newfound resolve to find and restrain the killer. Give them justice! And Akron and myself will do it swiftly. He slams his fist down on the table. I will not do that because things will go flying off this desk! You are free to go. Please heed the advice I gave earlier. I will be in contact about your flight. I can understand where he's coming from. Guilt can be a devastating force. To be free from it is truly liberating. Especially if it wasn't your fault. Ryan, you can go. I need to have a few words with Singe. I'll run into you later, I'm sure. Did you not listen to the man when he said stick together? Did you not? Kayla reclines in his chair, clearly displaying that he's here to stay. Very well. Be safe, Ryan. I nod. This was a lot to process. There was a lot to process in this one. I guess we're here expect to act like rats in a cage. Get out of my song get out of my head song. Moving as the mastermind expects. Hopefully none of us wants to rattle that cage. Yes! Yes, I would like to fucking say. Oh, God! We didn't even get rock or affection and he's dead! We got... Rule... The halfway mark. And already the fucking body count's rising. Oh, we're gonna do this little preview before I wrap it up and edit and go to bed. Am I actually gonna be able to sleep? I take a deep breath and then close the door behind me. I press my back against it, resting for a moment. So Singe was revealed that he's not responsible. It's it's odd to be relieved in this kind of scenario. But I understand where he's coming from. We're all out. We've all wallowed in self-pity before. At least he's he, he's free to use exception other ways. In this case, plotting with Acheron. Regardless how I feel about Singe's current plan, I know that Acheron will keep us all safe. I feel like we can't trust Acheron. That's kind of his shtick in this in this gamble. Yeah, he's part of this cosmic Game of Thrones bullshit now. Now we know. But he apparently his plan is to protect us. His plan, his goal. It talks some sense if he's off track. It wasn't my place to decide what they did. It wasn't my place to defy Akron's orders, either. They definitely hire the best in the business. Hi! As if on cue, he approaches me. I saw the paramedics carry out a body bag. 
I was terrified wondering who it could be. But I got a text from Singe right away. I'm glad to see that you're safe. But in light of what happened, I think some changes need to be made. Singe does not have a good grasp on things. I think I should... I'm starting to get carried away. I'm starting to get carried away. I think that means I'm kind of getting into this now. But holy fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Bravo. I'm going to end it here. If you guys liked what you saw here, you know that deal. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel to see more. Not only of this bizarre adventure, but any other bizarre adventure that I happen to go through. Follow the Facebook page. Keep up with the music and the content. Hop on board the Discord to chat and hang out with other like-minded range individuals. And as always, keep sharing these videos around the world. Anyone that you can find. Anyone. Any little bit helps the Empire grow. And as always, stay awesome out there, guys. Adios. I am going to need stronger booze.